If you like decentralized finance, but you don't like high Ethereum gas fees, then the Just Lend platform on the Tron network may be for you. Just Lend is a protocol that allows you to lend cryptocurrency and earn interest as well as taking out cryptocurrency loans without the need to engage with the Ethereum network or pay ridiculous gas fees. Before I even start this video off, I want to acknowledge that Tron is a very controversial cryptocurrency and nothing in this video should indicate that Altcoin Buzz endorses the Tron cryptocurrency or that Altcoin Buzz recommends the Tron cryptocurrency. In fact, especially when it comes to marketing, I want to specifically be on the record that there's a lot of things that Altcoin Buzz does not agree with. So Altcoin Buzz does not agree with the marketing style that Tron is currently using. However, that being said, I understand that a lot of people comment on my Ethereum videos saying that they want a way to get out of the high Ethereum gas fees and specifically some people are looking for decentralized finance. So after looking at a variety of chains, uh, one that is available is Tron and it does have DeFi applications on it. So again, I'm not recommending Tron, I'm not endorsing Tron, however, if you are deciding to use Tron anyway, if you're going to go ahead and do it. I want you to at least have a general understanding of what's involved, the different steps that you can take. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Robert with Altcoin Buzz and in today's video we're taking a look at the Just Lend platform. Now I know when people hear of the Tron network there's a little bit of controversy that gets stirred up, however at the same time I also know that a lot of people have said that Ethereum gas fees right now are making the protocol basically unusable. So in today's video I wanted to hop off the Ethereum blockchain and show you the Just Lend platform on Tron. Whether you decide to use the platform, whether or not you like Tron is completely up to you. However, I am here to show you how to do it and how you can use it to your advantage. So the first thing that I want to show you is a general overview of the platform, then I'll show you how to get set up with a Tron wallet and get started. So the first thing I want to point out is that it is a decentralized lending platform. You can lend a variety of assets like Tron, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Sun, USDJ, that is the just stable coin. There's a few assets you can lend. Really for me, I'm just going to be lending USDT and Tron because it's the simplest, it's the easiest to keep track of. So that's a little bit of what you can do. You can lend, you can borrow, but the first thing that you need to do is you need to take out a Tron wallet. And the wallet I'm using is simply Tron Link. All you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store, go ahead and click Add to Chrome, add that extension and then go ahead and click on this puzzle piece, open up your extension, and we are going to create a wallet. So let's just make an easy to use password here and continue. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new wallet and we can name it whatever we want. So we're just going to put Tron Demo and it's going to give us a list of words to write down. Now obviously, I've said this in every video, your seed phrase is something that you need to protect and keep safe. You never want to show this to anyone because anyone that has this seed phrase can access all of your funds. However, don't just skip this screen either because if you lose your wallet, your computer gets destroyed, this is the only way that you're going to be able to recover all of your funds. After we've written down the words, we'll click continue and it will ask us to verify all of those words. We're going to click confirm and we see that we now have our Tron wallet. So right now this is a blank Tron wallet. There is absolutely nothing in the wallet. Now the first thing I want you to know is there's two kind of things here going on. There's a bandwidth and there's energy and Tron is different than Ethereum. So with Ethereum, every time you make a transaction, you have to pay gas. Now with Tron, we have two things that go into transactions. We have bandwidth and we have energy. Bandwidth is basically for making your everyday transactions, whereas energy is more used for smart contracts and deploying smart contracts and things like that. So just as a basic user, the most important thing to you is going to be bandwidth. Now, by default, every Tron account is going to start out with 5,000 bandwidth and that replenishes each day. So it's going to allow us to make, I think, about 20 to 25 transactions just with our default bandwidth. So 25 transactions per day. However, if we want run out of bandwidth and we need to make more transactions, we can pay with that using Tron. Even if we do run out of bandwidth, the fees are much, much lower than paying with Ethereum. So 
that's one thing and then you can also stake tron to get more bandwidth and more energy so it really gives you the option of making a lot of very low cost transactions especially as opposed to the ethereum network so i like this because you can stake tron you can make a certain number of transactions per day whereas ethereum it doesn't matter if you stake it doesn't matter how much you have in your wallet you're getting hit for a fee every single time you make a transaction so now that I've shown you how to create a demo wallet, I'm actually going to log into my main wallet and show you how to interact with the Tron protocol. One thing I do want to point out is you need to have some Tron in your wallet. You can get this through an exchange. One that I found that works specifically for US customers is Bitrex. You can get Tron by using US dollars, Bitcoin, Tether, or Ethereum. So if you're in a different country, you can use whatever exchange you want. Coinbase, I did not find Tron on there, so I know Coinbase is really popular with a lot of US users. Bitrex is eligible for US users, and it also has Tron, so that might be a good place to start. And then once you purchase your cryptocurrency from Bitrex, you can simply send it to your Tron wallet by using the receive address. So I would simply click Tron. I would click receive. I can copy and paste this into the withdrawal on my Bitrex account. Okay, so now that I have some Tron in my wallet, what we can see is that I have some bandwidth here. And then I also have a little bit of energy saved up. So let's suppose that I wanted more bandwidth for more transactions or more energy for interacting with these smart contracts. What I can do is I can go to tronscan.org and I simply log in by connecting my wallet and I can gain more resources by freezing Tron. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to pay gas for a transaction. You can pay in Tron if you want. However, you don't have to. So let's suppose I need more resources. I can simply obtain these by staking for either power and bandwidth or energy. Personally, I think staking for energy is a little bit better because you get so much bandwidth that replenishes every day. So let's suppose I stake 50 Tron for energy and it's going to power me up and give me some more energy. One thing, you do have to freeze this for at least 72 hours, but again, you do get those funds back whenever you decide to unfreeze them. So let's suppose that I already have enough energy, enough bandwidth to make whatever transactions I want. I actually want to get into showing you how to use the decentralized finance through Tron. Now there's a couple different things with Tron. It's not just lending. They actually have their entire kind of DeFi suite. So they have just swap, they have just lend, and they have just able. The two that I'm going to be focusing on this video is just swap and just lend. So if we go to just lend, you can see that there's different assets that we can lend. Now, personally, I like lending stable coins because I know that the value is not going to change up and down too much. So I know I'm going to be getting that 4.67% supply rate. Whereas with Tron, yeah, I might be getting a higher rate, but if the price goes down, I might actually be losing money even though I'm earning interest. So let's suppose that I want to swap from Tron to US Tether on the Tron blockchain. I simply go to just swap. I'm logged in with my wallet. I'm selecting what coin I want to go from. So let's suppose I want to go from Tron and we will select Tron as the input. Let's suppose, just for this purposes of this video, I want to go from 50 Tron to Tether, and it's going to tell me the minimum I'm gonna receive is 2.73 Tether, the price impact is gonna be less than 0.01%, and the liquidity provider fee is going to be 0.15%, so, or sorry, 0.15 Tron, so 0.3%, which is pretty much the same as Uniswap. So. We can go ahead and swap that if we wanted to. And you simply click swap and you click confirm swap and it's going to execute. But before we do that, what I wanna show you is I want to show you how that's going to affect my balances. So I'm actually gonna write this down. Right now I have 40, 34 on bandwidth and I have 26 energy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this swap. I'm gonna confirm it. And what you're going to see is that it's actually going to change my balances between my energy and my bandwidth. So once we open the wallet back up, we see that the bandwidth has decreased and so has the energy. So that's a little bit about how the bandwidth and energy works, how you can interact with those uh, swapping features. Now, just as on Uniswap, you can add liquidity to different pools. You can earn the fees. You can do the exact same thing on Tron. So I could add the Tron to Tether liquidity pool. I can add to these liquidity pools just like I can do on Uniswap. But getting back to the original purpose of this video, we want to lend the stable coins on JustLend. So all we would have to do is come back here to Tether 
we're simply going to supply our tether and we're going to click approve and again what you'll see is that when we do this our bandwidth power is going to go down so we're going to approve tether we're going to click accept and then we're going to supply our max amount here and one thing I do like about Tron you can see this I think their block time is considerably considerably faster than Ethereum I think it's about three seconds per block so these transactions are pretty much confirming instantly for very small amounts of fees we will refresh this page and what we will see is that we now have the tether earning interest for us on this account so that's pretty cool we've got our Tron we've got our tether in there earning interest for us if we wanted to take out a loan we could do that as well simply from flipping this switch to collateral setting use US dollar US tether as collateral again transaction is going to be super fast less than a few seconds here and we can go to my borrow and now that we're using tether as collateral we can select borrow so let's suppose that we want to borrow some tether and again you can you could borrow whatever you wanted but just to make it easier for paying it back i am going to borrow point let's see if it'll let us do 0 0.05 i guess we have to borrow in whole increments let's borrow one tether we're going to see that we are using 48 percent of our borrow limit the apy is going to be 1.68 percent and we will go ahead and select borrow when we go to my borrow we see that the transaction has already confirmed i'm borrowing at 48 percent of my limit i have everything there so let's go ahead and pay all of this back simply go to repay select max and click repay we are going to accept and confirm this transaction and then what you're going to see is that all of our debt has been paid back so when we go to my borrow that is all cleared out and when we go to my supply we see that the tether and the tron are sitting there earning interest for us again in this portion of the video i wanted to go a little bit more into depth on transaction fees on the tron network because i know it can be a little bit confusing with energy and bandwidth and burning and everything like that so the first thing i want to do is simplify it and say if you have enough energy and enough bandwidth for your transaction then your transaction is going to be free now I say free in quotes because obviously you're still gonna to have to pay those uh, energy costs and the bandwidth costs however those are renewable right your energy builds back up over the day and so does your bandwidth so it's free um, but obviously you still have to stake in order to build back up your energy and your bandwidth replenishes automatically so that as far as free now let's suppose that you don't have enough energy or you don't have enough bandwidth in that case yes you will have to burn some tron to cover the transaction however what i want to show you is that it is incredibly cheaper than ethereum so if we go to the ethereum uh, block explorer here ether scan and i'm on the uniswap contract which is a very popular contract to use i'm just going to click on a random confirmed transaction hash here and we see that they spent a fee of $15 basically to swap one token for another. Uh, we'll click on another one here. This fee is about $15. So we're pretty average about $15 for a swap. Now let's hop over to Tron. And what we can see here with Tron is that on the transaction I did yesterday when I swapped Tron for Tether, I had 30 energy. So it used some of my energy to cover that. The remaining 48,000 energy that was required for that contract required me to burn 6.7 Tron. So how much does that translate to? Well, at the time of this transaction, Tron was about five cents. So five cents times six, that means it cost me about 30 to 35 cents to do that transaction. So take $15, divide it by 35 cents and that's the price difference between the fees on the tron network and the fees on the ethereum network now obviously if i would have had enough energy if i would have had enough bandwidth saved up for this transaction the transaction would have been completely free but even here where i had to basically pay for the majority of the transaction by burning tron what we can see is that the fees are still considerably lower than the ethereum network so in general um, i know this was a really quick interview i kind of went fast through some of the things it was more of an expository video to show you that yes ethereum is definitely the king of decentralized finance and 
There is other options though, right? So Tron, not everyone likes it. As I said, there is some controversy around it. However, um, it's my job to show you different products, show you how they work, and let you make the decision on what you choose to use. So if you want to try Tron out, they do have a couple interesting products, and I hope you found this video useful for at least giving you a starting point to consider whether or not you might want to use this service. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in the video. Leave a comment below of what else you'd like to see us cover, and I'll see you next time.